This is Greta Team Model Academic Enhancement School GMAT 41. You are welcome to our introduction to calculus class. In this video, we'll be talking about integral calculus, that is integration. And don't forget, here we make you appreciate your learning. We we'll make learning fun, targeted for you. We start by looking at the general concept of integration. Did you know that if a problem is given to you on integration, all you need to do is to apply what is on the board here, the technique observation sequencing pattern. And what does that mean? Integrate major function, then divided by differentiate minor function, then put plus c. The plus c there is your constant of integration. What does this tell you? That while dealing with integration, you need the knowledge of what? Differentiation as well to the case. You would have to differentiate a minor function, as the case might be. Now, we start first with our standard integrals by looking at the polynomial function where we use the power rule. Imagine you're giving dy to be equal to integral f of x raised to the power n dx. This is a polynomial function because of that power n. That n is an integer. It can be a whole number. It can be a fraction, a negative or positive integer. Is that okay? Now, how do we obtain our integral value for this? Simply, integral dy will give us y. Please, I will explain how integral dy actually gives us y. Even so, integral dx will also give you x. How? In our subsequent videos, I will take my time to explain that. Is that okay? Now, integral dy will give us y equal to, you come here, how do you integrate this f of x raised to the power n with respect to x? How do you integrate that? First, identify your major function there, which is n. That is what made that a polynomial. Then identify your minor function, which is f of x. Then we proceed. To integrate polynomial functions, the power rule is applied. Add 1 to the major function, which is n. If you add 1 to it, then divided by that new power which you got by adding 1, you are not done yet. Remember that in the denominator, you are likely expected to have derivative of the word minor function. So, we will go to the minor function f of x and then differentiate it with respect to x. Can you see that? The f of x over the x. Put plus c. So that's that. Now let's quickly look at this example on the board. You are giving dy to be equal to open bracket x raised to the power 5 plus 2 close the bracket raised to the power 3 dx. How do you now obtain your value? Some would go through the reversal of chain rule saying let you be equal to x raised to the power 5 plus 2 then everything raised to the power 3. But it's not necessary. We can actually work around that without reversing chain rule. Okay. Using this standard brought out already with these, we'll quickly identify our major function and then identify our minor function. Once something is carrying this differential coefficient dx, dy, simply know that to get your result, you have to integrate, okay? So I will introduce integration here, integration here, you can see that. Integral dy will give me y. Please take note, it is not dy that you integrated. I have said, I will explain that in subsequent videos. Then you come here, you know that this is your major function, so add 1 to that power. If you add 1, you get power 4. So you're going to have x raised to the power 5 plus 2, all close bracket power 4, then divided by that new power 4, times differentiate the minor function. You can see that here. If you differentiate x raised to the power 5 plus 2, you're going to get 5x raised to the power 4 plus 0. The 0 is the result of this constant, so if you go off, put a plus here, and that's all. x raised to the power 5 plus 2, close the bracket raised to the power 4, Divided by 4 times 5 is 20, x raised to the power 4 plus c. And this is the result of this problem. 